know, we are here every single Sunday between two and four. We are Growing Up British. And on next week's show, the first half of the conversation is going to be about the probation period in a relationship. Oh, this is going to be a juicy, juicy, juicy Make one. sure you guys tune in because yeah. this is going to be juicy. <laughs> so it's about basically when you first start dating someone, you go on this probation period, whether you officially call it a probation period, but in the back of your mind, you're like, all right, cool. Let me see how, how this relationship goes. Let me see how this person is. And sometimes like they go, oh, why has why she gone all crazy now? The probation period done. It's like, um, no, you just didn't quite get to experience her in that manner. Mm, and you didn't really get happened. to know each other. Exactly. And yeah. how should that long, how long should the probation period go for? Um, is it a six month trial or three month trial? Is, these days, a job is six months. Should it apply yeah, to Yeah, a job is six months, but it's really over six months. Really? What? That, that probation period, no? What, for, for work or for relationship? No, no, no. Um, for work. work it is, but I mean for relationships. Exactly. So, so do, you, yeah. do you formally ask your girl to be your girl? Um, and also, that we're actually... That is so dry. No, but it's true though. What? Like, no. the, what does that mean? So when do you become exclusive and how does it become exclusive? But we'll save that for next week. Don't speak. Yes. And also, we don't know, has anyone signed a contract with their partner setting out guidelines and expectation when it comes to respect? Um, and just the standard of the relationship. And yeah. we actually know a couple who have. Yes. And we're going to go through Physically. the terms and Yes, they we, know this, we know this couple. It started off as a joke and it became a real stuff. What, real a, stuff? what real like thing. a, a they've, they've got a handwritten contract. Yes, right. Yeah. But and we the, will talk more about that in detail. And the next part of the conversation will be based around, obviously, November, talk about male mental health. So we're going to be touching every single week for the whole duration of November, talking about male mental health, but in different topics. So I'm going to keep it very vague right now, but make sure you lock in next week to Suitable on Pulse FM, where you'll be listening to Growing Up British. Ish! <laughs> and if you snooze, you lose. Guys, it's been emotional. Thank you so much for everyone that's been listening. Thank you for Jermaine. It's Thanks, been a Jermaine. pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you for-